All right, so in this problem, we have a lot of nuts, particularly peanuts. And what we're doing is we're taking two bags that have partial peanuts, a 55% mixture and a 40% mixture, and we're gonna combine them to a new bag. And what we wanna do is be able to determine what is the percent of that many peanuts, of how many peanuts we're gonna have in that bag. And we have four answer choices. So what I wanna do is set up the problem because when you're dealing with a word problem, that's really the most important thing you wanna do is set up your word problem and try to identify making sure that we're going about it the correct way and it's making sense. So a couple things that I kind of recognize here is I have a new bag and that new bag is going to be 15 pounds. Bag number one is nine pounds, bag number two is six pounds. The first bag, nine pounds, is 55% peanuts. Now, how are we going to be able to determine how many peanuts that is? Well, what we simply need to do is take 55% and multiply it by nine pounds. That will tell us how many peanuts we have. So let's go ahead and figure out, let's do bag number one, okay? And what we're gonna do is take 55%. Now, rather than using decimals and using a calculator, which you could definitely go and do and do it rather quickly, I wanna kinda of show you without a calculator. So therefore you can have a little bit more confidence of not having to always rely with a calculator. So I can easily write a percent as 55 over 100, and we're gonna multiply that by nine. Now, nine times 55 divided by 100. Kinda of seems a little bit confusing and scary, but if you really think about it, we know 55 times 10 is gonna be 550, right? And then nine is just gonna be subtracted 55. So 550 minus 55 is going to be a 495 divided by 100. Now, when we're divided by 100, we can basically think of a decimal point right here, and we just move it over two spots. So we're gonna have 4.95 pounds of peanuts in bag number one, right? That's what that represents. That represents the number of peanuts in bag number one. Now let's go and take a look at bag number two. So bag number two is, let's see, we are going to have 40% out of six pounds. So again, do the same thing, 40 over 100 times six. Now this one, I can easily go ahead and drop the zeros, right? You can cancel them out. Technically, it's kind of like the decimal point though is moving for both of them. And then times six, that's going to be a 24 all over a 10. And just like when I move the decimal point over two spots here when dividing by 100, I just need to divide it over twice or over once here for hit this case. So therefore I'm going to have a 2.4. Again, what we're looking for, this is going to be the total number of peanuts in bag number one, plus the total number of peanuts in bag number two. And so therefore we're going to have 4.95 plus 2.4. Now, if you want to go ahead and quickly add those, you can see that four plus nine is going to be a 13. Carry that over to the one. So it's going to be four plus two, which is six, plus another one here is going to be seven. So that is going to be is equal to 7.35. Okay, so that's the total number of peanuts in bag one and bag two. But remember, what they're looking for is the percent of the new mixture of peanuts. So what we need to do then, we need to take 7.35 and divide it by 15. Now, how are we gonna do that without a calculator? Just use long division, right? Don't worry guys, we can still do this. I mean, if grab your calculator, if it's really, you know, making you kind of go stir crazy here, but you can do this. Even if you have a test or anything else is coming up, like you can do this, I believe in you. 15 does not go into seven, so we're gonna create a decimal point. 15 goes into 73, that's gonna be four times, right? Because four times 15 is gonna be 60. If we did five, that'd be 75, which doesn't go into 73. So we're gonna say four times. Four times 15 is going to be a 60. We are going to subtract the rows and three, okay? 15 does not go into 13, so we need to bring down an extra digit five. And then we need to say, well, how many times does 15 go into 135? Well, we know that 10, 15 times 10 is 150, and 15 times nine, 150 minus 15 is 135. So that's gonna be 49. Now again, that's a decimal though. So all we need to do to get this as a percentage is multiply that by 100 and guess what? We're gonna get a 49 degrees. 